Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Oscar here, and welcome back to our creative house build where we're building our super awesome s'more house in front of you. And in today's episode, we work on our last room of our interior design, and that is a super awesome living room with couches, chairs, and one super awesome fireplace. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scar World and our creative house build, the S'more House. Now, it is nearing completion. As you can see, we've got our structural design of the house completed. We have the landscaping, and if you look inside, you can see all the rooms all decorated inside the house. And I'm noticing that Bob the Creeper Building Inspector is no longer on the outside inspecting our rails. So it looks like the cat defense force here may have come through and uh, protected us against them creepers. So let's head inside here and take a look at some of our prior work before we start on today's build. So as you can see, look at that. We've got our living room and our dining room. And I can see Bob the Building Creeper Inspector. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, yep, he outsmarted the cat defense force once again. And he's bugging us in our house. Ha, ah, Bob. I don't even know what to say. Anyway, let's take a look at our kitchen. So we just completed this where we've got our milkshake maker and our stove and our sink and cabin trees and all sorts of good stuff all arranged and ready to go. And I was so glad you guys really liked this design. It's definitely one of my favorite now, especially with these cool little windows at the top. Ha <laughs> I think those are awesome. But let's get started now on our living room. So the living room's gonna have couches and chairs and fireplaces and all sorts of good stuff. And if you love the design, definitely let me know by leaving a like rating and let's jump right into it. So first thing we're gonna do on this back wall here, as you can see, this wall is actually new and I just placed it here and there's a little bit of extra space back here. So let me know what you guys wanna see done with that. And what I've done here is I placed two blocks, you know, in line with this, so all the way across here, two blocks, and then place that wall going all the way across. So let's take some dark chocolate, there we go, and we're gonna do three blocks like so. And we're gonna bring a nice, beautiful, dark chocolate um, bar all the way across here, and then we're gonna do the same on this side. So we are going to have something pretty cool today so with our different colors all together, and I think it'll look really nice and definitely look like a beautiful s'more because that's kind of the inspiration of the house, of course, like we talked about, is a s'more, which is like, some people don't know what a s'more is. It's, it's graham crackers, so spacing of two blocks, and bring this all the way across here. So graham crackers is the kind of like a bar, and then you take you know chocolate and marshmallows and melt them over a campfire. That's kind of the theme of this build, just because the color palette looks similar. Okay, so now that we got that arranged, what we're gonna do here is just take some of these stairs and bring these across. There we go. So bring that all the way across like a so. And then that'll look really cool. So this is kind of just the bare bones basic design of the living room. Eventually we're gonna have a roaring fire and all sorts of great stuff together to make this one super awesome design. There we go. And now we've got ourselves a room and it is starting to come together. So now we're just going to add our slab floor. All right, and welcome back. So this is the basic floor design that we have. Now these little chunks that we've taken out are where the couches and chairs are gonna go. So you can kind of see an overhead view for layout and counting and design and all that good stuff. So let's jump right into it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start to make ourselves a chair. So we're gonna start right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna start kind of working off of that. So we're just gonna bring those up to about eight like so, and then kind of figure out where we wanna go from there. So something like that. And I might make a couple adjustments here but I'm not gonna do it at the moment. So I think I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit higher like that. Maybe just one smidge bit higher like that. There we go, beautiful, wonderful. And I'm gonna grab myself a carpet block. There we go, and let me place that right there. So I'm actually gonna bring this up a little bit higher to be in line with that. There we go. And bring that up here just a smidge bit more. Yeah, there we go. We'll kind of think about that. We'll, we'll think about that. We might change it just a little bit. And I might actually have to push this back one block more. So this entire chair might have to be broken in and brought in line with that. But we'll see if that has to be the case in a little bit once we add the fireplace. So remember that that might have to be pushed back a little bit farther. So bring this up to about here. There we go. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at the time. So we kind of go from eight and then we can kind of decide from there how much higher that we want to go in any particular design so what I'm thinking about is maybe going like that bringing this up to let's bring it up to at least the level of the oh wait I have an idea I have an idea this might be cool no I think that look cool that won't look great so we'll just bring it like that so what I was thinking was if we did a little you know had these carpets just a little bit elevated but I don't think that would look good I think we'll keep it at this 
There we go, bring that up just one like that. And there we go, looking very fancy. So let me do this side and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, I did decide to push the two chairs one block backward like we talked about a moment ago and you can kind of see the general layout. And we've also kind of cut out some of the milk chocolate here to apply some windows along here. So that'll be get to that in just a little bit. But for now, we need to work on, I'm just gonna place these down as temporary blocks like so. And then I'm just going to place this one here also as a temporary block. And we're going to start working on our fireplace. So the fireplace is going to be in the middle of the room. So it'll be kind of a focal point of the entire room, which I'm kind of excited about because I think this will look really darn cool. Okay, there we go. Looking good, looking good. Now we're going to take some half slabs and run them on the top like so. There we go. Awesome, wonderful, beautiful. All right, so next we're gonna do is look for that nether rack. There's my nether rack, wonderful. And we're just gonna stick the nether rack in there and of course grab ourselves a flint and steel. And may I ask where they keep the flint and steel these days? <laughs> I don't think I know. <laughs> there it is, there it is. I knew it was hiding somewhere from me. There we go, put those across there. Aha, that looks beautiful, wonderful. Okay, so now that we have it at this point, we can kind of decide if we want to leave it at this or do we want to enhance it and add a bit more detail to it? So that's kind of the question I'm going to leave to you guys. Do you like it at this point or do you guys like it what I'm going to about to do? So you can kind of make it make a decision, you know? Hmm, Scar, I think I liked it before or I really like it with the smokestack type thing. So let me know um, kind of as we put this thing together if you guys like it which way, um, which way you like it best. And there we go. I think that looks uh, looks pretty good. We'll, uh, we'll keep it at that for now, and then we'll see uh, where we want to take it from here. All right, so I'm going to grab out this, and I'm going to sneak back over here, and I'm going to remember how we do these windows. We do them offset, so we take them in the outside like so. There we go. Cut that out like there. Grab a little bit of milk chocolate slabs and put those on the top. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I'll get a rogue block over there. There we go. And then we're going to sneak on over here and then do one right here. Cut out the spare and bring that sneak inside. There we go. And then I'm going to bring this like so, like that. And then I will come back out and add those blocks on top. I just want to get going here. There we go. Beautiful. So we're slowly getting all of the details built in and ready to go, of course. So um, yeah, so now we get to a complicated part of the build. And that's where we get kind of, you know, I'm not exactly sure where I want to go at this particular point. I'm um, trying to do a little design here that's not wanting to cooperate now, oh, apparently. So this design does not want to connect, connect. <laughs> there it goes. So I want to do some plants growing up like that. So that is something I want to do and we'll do that over there too. Um, so yeah, let's get started and just kind of see where this takes us. Let's grab this block and we're going to bring this all the way across here. There we go. Bring that up to here. There we go. Connect this and bring that all the way across. So as you can see, we're just trying to carry through the structural design, as you can see. Um, so it's somewhat in line with the rest of the room and house. So now what we'll do is we'll bring this all the way across here. Now this doesn't all the way fit together. As you can see, there's some inconsistencies here. So that's where we're going to kind of see where we can do to figure that out and make it look more consistent, more streamlined. There we go, bring that all the way across here, cut off the top. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go, bring that all the way across. And yeah, look at that, things are starting to come together and looking mighty fine. So then we'll cut out these pieces up here and then connect them right there and bring this across. So as you can see, we do need to add some more uh, marshmallow at the top up there. So we'll cut that piece out of there and then we'll cut in here. So hmm, this is going to be a bit tricky where, we, as you can see right up here, and we'll cut that in there right there and maybe even add another block going up like this. Cut that one in there. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, wonderful. So we'll do it like a doorway over here. We'll get to the doorways a little bit later. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this marshmallow might be a problem um, on the outside, but we'll fix that up. We've done it before in other houses where we've had the exterior walls compromised like that, um, but we've always figured out different and cool ways to incorporate other designs into there to make it look more streamlined. There we go. And then we'll, as you can see, we can run this up here like that. And we can do the same over here. There we go, bring that up like so. And I'll fix that corner like we did right there. But uh, yeah, I think that looks good. So now let's sneak on over here. And what I'm gonna do over here is do the same thing and bring that all the way up there. And I'll round these corners off camera. I just wanna get them down so you guys can get a good idea of how we're doing. There we go. And then I'm gonna cut in right here like so. And I'm going to bring up some quartz. There we go, looking good. 
quartz goes right there. And now I need some half slabs of the, here it is. I need some of these. There we go. And these aren't half slabs, these are stair scar. I'll bring these all the way up there like that. And look at this, we're starting to get somewhere. We are truly starting to get somewhere. And yeah, so look at that. We've got ourselves a room pretty well set up. So give me one second, let me kind of catch my breath and put the final details on and then we'll do a tour and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And we've nearly completed our beautiful living room here. And of course, this area is going to be, you know, a doorway out to the backyard, which we'll eventually work on. Now, as you can see, I've added some potted plants over by the windows. And then I've changed this design just a little bit by adding a portrait. And I feel, really feel like the red kind of, uh, kind of makes the room kind of feel together. All these colors kind of blend together and I love the red and orange. It kind of separates things. And then as you can see, this design is kind of cool up here. So watch this. So we kind of do something like, let's see, I, that was a fail, um, like that. And then we place that block like so. And I love that. That looks really cool. I had a little marshmallow back there. And there we go, my friends. Hopefully you enjoyed today's design with our fireplace and our couches and our chairs and beautiful windows and a lot of really cool structural blocks and designs. And yeah, so until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos are the rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.